Are you tired of watching boring old press releases? Then you've come to the right place, the right channel, the number one channel for CEO interviews and company overviews. Welcome to Rich TV Live. Subscribe to our channel and make sure to hit the like button on our videos to help with the YouTube algorithm. For more information and in-depth discussions and analysis, join our trading club at richpigsdaily.com. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications to get alerted when our next CEO interview is released so you can discover the next 10 bagger. Today, I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich to be live with our very special guest, the president of Plant Veda, Michael Yang. How are you doing today, Michael? I'm doing great. Great to have you on the show. Excited to learn more about this exciting company. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Plant Veda? Sounds great. So I have a finance background and uh, a strategy background, having worked in the industry for about 20 years primarily with the companies that are in the areas of either manufacturing, logistics, or consumer products. I'm also a consultant. Um, about a couple of years ago, while I was consulting with a plant-based cosmetics brand called Lush Cosmetics, uh, a friend of mine phoned me up and said, hey, Michael, I know you're into this plant-based space. Um, I run across this really, really cool brand called Plant Veda at the Veg Expo. And they just won a product of the year award. And, and, and she was so excited uh, about that product and, and the founders. And she got me connected to, with Sunny, who is a co-founder and uh, current CEO of Plan Veda. Uh, so Sunny and I, we met and, and he brought me this drink and uh, I tried it and I was just blown away. Uh, I really thought it was like yogurt, but it's completely plant-based. And um, then I started consulting with them basically. And uh, Later on, also became um, an investor of the company. Uh, early this year, uh, while Sunny was uh, preparing to go public, and Sunny approached me again and said, hey, Michael, why don't you come on board and become the president of the company as we go public? And it was an easy decision. Um, I was so thrilled because having worked for or consult with um, more than 30 companies in my career, uh, this is to me is really once in a lifetime opportunity. Congratulations. Thank you. Super exciting to become a president of a publicly listed company. Can you tell us a little bit about your main goals for Plan Veda as you're excited and getting ready to go public on the market under the symbol MILK, M I L K? Yeah, sure. Uh, the mission of Plan Veda is to accelerate humanity's shift to a plant based lifestyle. And uh, the reason we chose um, milk as the symbol is because we're essentially reinventing the milk. And the key part of that mission statement is to accelerate because the shift to a plant-based lifestyle is already happening and it's happening fast. The global dairy industry is about a $490 billion business. And, you know, as we all know that, uh, Dairy production leads to a lot of environmental problem, problems and uh, you know, consumption of dairy also leads to a lot of health problems. Um, so for the sake of the environment and the animals and even ourselves, we're probably better off to switch off of dairy as much as we can and you know, go on plant-based. Uh, so that's kind of the overall mission uh, of Plan Veda. Now, with that mission, obviously we, we need to accelerate. Right, so we need to accelerate growth. So we have done pretty well in the past. Uh, we have won a couple of awards and we're also in more than hundred stores in British Columbia. The names like Whole Foods, um, you know, Save On Foods, Choices Markets, Fresh Prep and Spot.ca um, and a lot of other premium stores. Uh, now our distributors, they're national and, and North American distributors and who are really, uh, you know, who basically have like tens of thousands of retail stores, right? So um, they're really eager to take us beyond BC and, and really, you know, 
throughout North America, you know, as, as, as early as possible, uh, once we have our production capability scaled up. And uh, that leads to our, one of our main objectives this year is basically to complete uh, the facility upgrade of a newly leased 25,000 square feet facility in Delta. And that's going to allow us to support significantly more sales down the road. And, and that is expect to be completed later this year. Now, the second objective that we have is that uh, we want to continue to refine our e-commerce offering and the logistics around that. Um, as we know, direct to consumer is really a thing, you know, um, you know, since the start of COVID. And, and lastly, uh, you know, we also wanted to introduce some brand new product categories to the market as well. Extremely important to have a strong management team. Can you talk a little bit about your management and your directors and some of the previous experience in the plant-based sector and the public markets? Sounds great. So one of the major strengths of the company is really in um, our people. And uh, uh, probably half of the senior manager leadership team actually has a certification plan and based nutrition, uh, myself included. Um, it starts with Sunny, um, who is the visionary and you know the CEO of the company. Uh, he's a serial vegan entrepreneur, um, you know, having built up production plants, you know, from ground up multiple times in his career. Um, and in addition to that, you know, he is actually also a software engineer in Silicon Valley uh, in the past, uh, having worked for e-commerce giant eBay uh, companies like that in the past. Um, and also we have our, on our board of directors, Claire Smith, uh, who is also a serial vegan entrepreneur. Uh, she's in Europe. Uh, she is uh, the creator of uh, vegan climate US index uh, called Vegan in the US. And she is also the founding partner of Beyond Impact, Beyond Investing, which is a, uh, an investing platform uh, for companies just like Plan Veda. So her experience uh, in, um, in, in capital markets, uh, you know, having worked in, um, you know, UBS in the past is going to be tremendous, uh, you know, as we navigate through the public, uh, the waters of public markets in the future. Um, and then, you know, Jeff uh, is also a, a very um, well-versed capital market CFO as well, uh, you know, work with, uh, multiple uh, public companies as part of the board and, you know, as part of senior management team in, in, in his career. Um, we have Vanita, who is really the soul of the company, uh, the inventor and the creator of all of our Plan Veda branded products. Um, she is a vegan mom of two kids. Uh, both are also vegan. Um, you know, what is also amazing about her is, uh, you know, in addition to her experience in climb base, she also holds two master's degrees. Wow. Yeah. Impressive. So, and, and, yeah. And, and this, uh, Mr. Uh, Mayu Sanjinani, he is our chief revenue officer. And, uh, you know, he's probably one of the best guys I've actually ever worked with in my career uh, in terms of execution. Very good. Uh, you know, he's the guy who talks from zero to more than 100 stores, you know, working with building great relationships with the distributors, you know, so on and so forth. And he's also a master as well. Now, you know, wow. I just feel like um, I, I feel so lucky to be able to work with such a talented team. And all I need to do is really to be that glue guy on the team that will help uh, maximize the teamwork and try to. Bring, um, bring on board the stuff that I learned from working you know, with um, more than 30 companies either, either as a consultant or as part of senior management team uh, in the past and try to help run a successful public company. Well, it sounds like you guys have a strong team and if everybody does what they're capable of, the success is going to speak for itself. Now, Michael, we know that the dairy industry is about a $490 billion globally, which you touched on, and there was $1.83 billion sales in plant-based dairy alternatives in the United States alone last year. What is the projected growth of this sector, and how much of it do you think Plan Veda can capture? Yeah, sounds good. So um, the plant-based dairy uh, segment is a pretty big segment. It is, it is about $20 billion 
today, roughly, globally. Uh, and it's growing at a double digit rate. So essentially every six years or so, you're doubling that up, right? Now it is a big number, but comparison in comparison to the dairy, which is $500 billion, you're still looking at a fraction, a fraction of the total addressable market. So um, yeah, we, we're gonna see a lot of growth for sure as a company. We're going to see the sector grow significantly as well, but uh, it's still in the really early stage uh, of the market, and we're really not seeing the blue ocean turning red anytime soon. If Plan Beta were to compare itself to its competitors in this sector, what would you say would set you guys apart? Sounds good. So um, first of all, I don't really um, consider uh, the other plant-based dairy companies competitors. Um, we see them more as like friends and comrades at this point, try to have a collectively bigger voice and stronger voice over cow's milk, because that's what everybody's mission and, and vision in the plant-based sector. Uh, having said that, our products are unique, are revolutionary in the marketplace. Um, as mentioned, we have won a couple of awards already. And, uh, you know, and, and at Plan Vida, um, maybe let me go back a little bit to talk about, you know, majority of the products out there in the market are uh, what we consider a, a more of a single plan source um, product. You know, if you have soy milk, uh, you have soy, maybe add a bit of sugar in it, pretty simple. Uh, or you have uh, oat milk, or if you have, you know, a coconut milk, Pretty simple products. Um, at Plan Veda, what we have is a product innovation philosophy in which we believe that by combining multiple all around, uh, all natural nutritional products, uh, ingredients into one drink is going to allow us to have some really good tasting product, but also offer all around nutritional value. And that is based on nutritional science, and that is based on culinary arts. So, uh, for example, um, we have this creamer here, right here. If we look at the label, it's actually um, made from um, cashew, coconut, and oats, and with some maple syrup, you know, to sweeten it up. And if we look at um, the the last year here, which is the uh, which is the yogurt alternative, uh, it's it has the cashew, it has oats, it has a real fruit, the mango, and that's just one of the flavors as well. And and you have billions of probiotics in it too. Now now this drink is not only going to address the plant based market, but also it's going to be functional too, which itself is a two hundred fifty billion dollar market. So yeah, so in that sense. We do have a pretty revolutionary and breakthrough product. That's exciting. Here at Rich TV Live, we love to talk to our investors about the fundamentals of companies. We'd love to understand your share structure. Can you break down your share structure and how you plan to attract institutional and retail investors? Sounds good. Um, you know, anybody, any institutions who are uh, interested in the ESG sector, or anybody who has an ESG allocation requirement, uh, they will be looking at us. And, uh, and along with you know, uh, those institutions who are uh, you know, interested in investing long-term, plan-based dairy movement is, is, an, is basically the, the mega trend that is happening right now. So they're gonna be very interested in, in, in what we have to offer. Uh, now, from a share count standpoint, uh, we have we had about 15 million shares outstanding before we go public. On the first day of trading, we're likely going to have about 20 million shares, which may really? be about 25% ish. Uh, that is free floating. Uh, yeah, that's 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 about it. Okay, great. If there was one thing that you would want shareholders to know about Plan Beta today, what would that be? Follow us and see how we change the world. Great. And what is the best way for shareholders to get in contact with the company if they have any questions? Yeah, so we're pretty active on social media. Um, I personally am pretty active on LinkedIn. That's probably the best way to actually reach me. 
Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, um, Instagram, and, you know, Facebook, and you know, all of those networks. Uh, now, you can also reach us at uh, uh, investors and planbeta.com, or you can phone us at 778-383-6737 for investor relations as well. Thank you so much for your time today. Michael Yang, the president of Plant Veda. Get it, put it on your watch list, put it on your radar. It will be going public on Monday under the symbol M-I-L-K, milk. Thank you so much for your time today, Michael. Thanks for having me, Rich. Always a pleasure. And for those of you guys that are watching, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we discuss or talk about here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, this is a new IPO, which means, in my opinion, it is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. This will help create more exposure for the company. If you like the video, if you like this company, if you like plant-based products, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring you the winners, and we bring them to you first. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have yourselves a great day, and thank you, Michael, and good luck with your IPO. Thank you. You too. Have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thank you.